Hi everyone, quick video in response to a reader question or really more of a challenge. He was watching one of my winching videos and said, look, it's all completely wrong. You've got it all backwards. Um, you just can't create weight. Well, you kind of can create weight and I'm going to demonstrate what I mean by that using this weight here. So I'm going to fire up the scales and pop that on. And we find it weighs 1.6 kilograms, right? Fair enough. Now what we're now going to do is put on a pulley system here, like that, and I'm just going to set the tear weight here, so that's now reading zero even though there's weight here, so it's just purely the weights I'm going to add to it, and we're going to add back onto it this weight here. Now if I let go of this, of course, that's just going to kind of completely disappear. I need a counterbalancing weight the other side. Um, so fortunately, I have one of them here, so that goes on the other side. Now, to nobody's surprise whatsoever, this now reads 3.2 kilograms, because I've got two weights here. Um, but you say, oh, but hang on, you're not really creating weight because you're using two weights. All right, so what if I then got rid of this? and connected this to an anchor point like that. I've only got one 1.6 kilogram weight here, but again it's reading about three kilograms. So that's what we mean when you have a vehicle pulling itself up, you run it round an anchor point and back, but not to the vehicle itself. You're not getting a double line pull then, you're not getting any mechanical advantage because all of the weight is in this single line here. Now if I was to take this off that and then hook it on like so, that would again go back to 1.6, which it has, and there's about 800 grams or half in each line here, which is the equivalent of your double line pull. Now I'm going to demonstrate this point again using a Lego model. First thing to do is weigh it, not how you'd normally weigh a four-wheel drive vehicle, but it works for us this time, and you can see that the weight is around about 950 grams. Now what we're going to do is set a ramp to exactly 30 degrees. So there's our angle measure, 30 degrees. Make sure that that's set correctly, and it is. Now we measure the force required to hold the model on at that 30 degree slope, which comes out to about 470 grams as expected. And now we change the step to an offset pull, but still using the snatch block. And the result is a huge increase on anchor load. And that's purely by moving the anchor away from the vehicle down to an offset. Now, if I was to put that back, like so, then the force reduces. Put it back again. force increases.